So a few videos ago, we talked about enclosure changing time, and I said it was getting pretty close. Well, the day has come. But before we can go ahead and change enclosures, we do have to break down the bricks. I'm going to show you some insanely satisfying footage here shortly in a couple minutes of me breaking down the Eco Earth bricks. I choose to use Eco Earth because I enjoy using that substrate. But you can use any substrate you want as long as it meets three major criteria. And the three major criteria that you need to meet when you're using substrate is absorbency. Does it absorb and collect the waste product? Humidity, does it hold and retain moisture so that way you can create a humid environment for your snake when it's about to shed? And the third thing is, is it soluble? Is it okay if they consume a little bit and is it going to affect them? Is it going to give them a allergic reaction to it? So I use Eagle Earth. Check it out. <laughs> It's your boy Vega from Mutated Balls coming at you with another video. Okay, so I use Eagle Earth. You can use whatever you want. It just needs to meet those three criteria. Absorbency, humidity, and it doesn't cause any allergic reactions to the snake. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and break those bricks down. Check it out. So when you have your bucket, you go ahead and put the brick in there. Now you need a liter and a half. 1.5 liters of water. I use cold water. I just pour it in there Right on top of the brick get it all saturated and wet one and a half liter I Filled it up to the line there one and a half liters. I Filled it up to the line right there one and a half liters Let's go ahead and let it break down
So with the bricks that I love, you saw it only took about 30 minutes to get them expanded. Once they expanded, you got to let them soak for another 30 minutes off to another container. So you go ahead and put them in another container, let them soak up. They're going to soak up all the water. All those hard pieces that I was breaking apart are easier to break apart once it soaks it all up. Within an hour, it should be ready to go. And then you let them air dry for about 12 hours and then you're good to put them in the enclosure. So tomorrow we're going to go ahead and set up each enclosure and I'm going to break it down piece by piece and show you how I do my enclosures. Now your enclosures could be a little different, but I want to show you what I'm doing specifically to my enclosures that maybe it'll help you find your avenue of keeping and caring for your ball python at the same level that you always do at a high expectancy. With all that being said, tomorrow we're going to go ahead and set up the enclosures. I'll show you how to clean them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments. And until then, squad, I'll catch you, no you, no you in the next one.